Welcome back. It is 312 on your Tuesday with the constant use of smartphones, laptops, TVs, and so many more electronics. Doctors have concerns about the impact of screen time on our eyes. These devices expose us to high levels of blue light. Experts say it could be impacting more than just our sight. Dr. Chad Doctor, optometrist and member of the iSafe Vision Health Advisory Board is joining us live. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Jamie. What is blue light and how does it impact our vision, our eyes, and even uh, sometimes even a headache? Yeah, so blue light is the high energy light that gets emitted from all screens that were on LED screens. And from an eye perspective, we really have short term and long term fears with that. Short term, we know as it relates to blue light and especially how it ex affects your sleep. Long term, we're worried about what this is doing to your retina and beyond. Well, you said a couple magic words. One is before your sleep. I think many people kind of wind down while scrolling on their phones. Tell us what we should be doing to uh, mitigate some of those negative effects of the blue light at that bedtime hour. Yeah, unfortunately, blue light basically tells your body to suppress melatonin and not to let a melatonin release. And so in effect, it's telling your body not to get ready for sleep. So what we talk about in my practice and what I talk about to patients is if you need to be on a screen and, and that's her way of winding down late at night, let's be sure that we're doing that in a safe way. There are uh, screen protectors that you can use for your phone, iPad, whatever, uh, that will decrease the amount of blue light that gets to you, therefore not making you not ready to sleep. Tell me about the damage to the retina you mentioned. Yeah, there's, it really is speculative at this point, but there's a lot of talk in the uh, ophthalmology and optometry community about what long-term effects are we having on the retina. And, and I think from the standpoint of there being a study that to date has, has proved that, no, but it really is a topic of conversation at this point. Well, I have to tell you, I've had a surgery for tear and attachment for my retina, so uh, I'm yes. gonna, definitely gonna perk up. That's a scary thing to go through, though fixable. Tell me about this 2020 rule and give us our doctor's orders with managing blue light. Yeah, so, so when you're on a screen uh, during the day, all of us working, doing whatever, one of the good things you can do is take a break. So the 2020 rule means basically for every 20 minutes you're on the screen, take 20 seconds and look at something at least 20 feet away. I tell my patients, get up once an hour, look out a window, walk around, stay away from being focused on that one spot in front of you for that longer period of time. Do you like those blue light glasses? Yeah, no, I think blue light glasses work great. The issue with blue light glasses, especially when it comes to kids, is it gotta be on, right? Yeah. And to the extent that if I could protect the screen, the, the blue light that emanates with the screen, uh, in some ways that's a lot better. I know with my own kids when they were young, I, it was hard to get them to do anything I wanted, right? So the screen is, yeah, do it for them. I see what you've done there. You put the screen there, so it's there no matter what. They don't have to worry about the glasses. Uh, iSafe Vision Health Advisory Board you're a member of. Uh, Dr. Chad, doctor, thank you so much for being with us. I'm an advocate for eye health, so I appreciate you spending time with us today. Thank you, Jamie.